What's going on? I got the yips. The yips? That's not good. What have you tried to do to get rid of it? Everything. Now hit this tee for me. Very nice. And do you remember like the day that it started? Like, was it like, yeah. tell me that time? I was at Coronado in uh, San Diego and I had a long putt. Uh, it was like a, probably a 30 footer. And all of a sudden, it was on the 10th hole, which is a weird after nine holes. And, you know, I, I hit it like, yeah, probably, you know, four yards to the left of my target because mm -hmm. you know, my hand flinched and I'm like, what in the world happened there? Yeah. And that whole week it just got progressively yeah. worse. So. And to talk to me, um, like when mainly for long putts, short putts everywhere, like where does it happen? Um, anymore, it's more on the short putts. Okay. Long putts, I'm getting a little, uh, a little more resistant to it. Okay. Um, let's just hit a few putts. We're just going to go around. I'm just going to observe and kind of okay. get a, get a feel for it. And uh, yeah, let's try and okay. see if we can make a few. Yeah, it's all right there. Yeah. What length would be the length you don't like? I mean, is it, 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 is this one a problem for you? No. No. Okay. So Alan, when you're hitting those putts, when you say you feel it, is it in the gut kind of like feeling like, like there's, there's that, that tension that comes into the hands or do you feel it in the hand? Like, where do you feel like it actually sort of yeah, starts off? that's a great question. Um, it used to be I couldn't even tell when it was going to happen. And okay. Now I can kind of tell. So, but yeah, I, I think I, it's just kind of right in here. I can in the arms. Okay. The anxiety a little bit. Do, do you feel? Do you feel though like a like a tension, yeah, like a, a te like a yeah, nervousness? Yeah, like, okay. Good. Okay. Like, yeah. Good. And I don't know why because I don't care that much. <laughs> yep. Yep. Yeah. But we'll, <laughs> but, we'll 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 explain a couple things. It might help here a little bit. Yes. Okay. Let's hit this one again. Did you feel it on that one? No. Okay. No, okay. Feel like a, that All, right. Yep. All right. Let's go ahead and hit this one right here. Any yip on that one? Nope. Okay, good. Okay, so we're going to do this, right? So I'm going to go ahead. This is a three foot putt right here. This one right here is going to be a four foot putt. So I'm going to go one extra right there. This one's going to be a five foot putt this one's going to be back to a three foot putt and this one's going to be a four foot putt okay so what i want you to do with one golf ball i want you to go around i want you to make five in a row okay okay you go to the next one so this one is going to come back into three Nice, okay, that's one. Let's get to two. Two, very nice, let's get to three. Okay. Okay, there's one. There was a, a little yip on the way back there, right? Did you feel yeah, some tension? Yeah, my okay, uh, but, but a little bit of tension. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yep, yep, good. Okay, three in a row. We've got this, three in a row, going for five. Just outside. Okay, next one. Good. Go on to the next one. How'd that one feel? It, um, it wasn't a yip, but... But the face opened up quite yeah, dramatically, quite right? Yeah, okay. So here's a couple concepts that I want to take you through. Okay. First one would be, is I would be looking to always get you under as much pressure as possible. Okay. So practice doesn't make perfect. It makes permanent. Right. And so what we want to do is try and get you in a position where you get three in a row and then four in a row and then five in a row. And then right. it, I want you to try and get to breaking point as often as you can. Right. Because a lot, like you said, I come out here and practice and it doesn't happen. It happens on the golf course. But if I told you, you have to get to 10 in a row and you don't get to leave until you do, yeah. you get to that eighth one, that stuff's going to show up. Yeah. And what you want to do in practice 
is you want, have you ever heard of the concept kanai or kaizen japanese kaizen yeah, yeah. constant never-ending improvement mm -hmm. so what do they do like you know each year they give the kaizen award mm -hmm. so the year toyota won it it was can we make 52 cars 53 54 every hour 56 57 it breaks what right. broke right. it was here right they're right. always trying to push you to that point of where's the breaking point what most of us are doing is we're turning our practice into like get on the golf course don't right. screw this one up for birdie right. you know what i mean so I would challenge you that each time you come out, I'd put the tees down and be like, right, I will not leave until I get four. And then the next day, five. And then the next day, six. And start going through that. The second thing I would do is actually, I just move this one, let's keep it here. Is I would start to narrow the focus because to me, the face, statistically I've been told this, I'm not a mathematician, 93% of what the face does determines if you make the short part. So it's not path as much as face. Because right, right. Billy Mayfair showed us it wasn't, it wasn't path. Do you remember, do you remember how yeah. Billy Mayfair used to put right. like this, you know? Right, yeah. So what I want to challenge you to do is, you're going to hit this T, and then you're going to hit this T, and then you're going to hit this T. And so you're just going to stand like this, and you're just literally going to set up, and you're going to see, can I hit that T? And then you're going to go over there, and you're going to try and hit that T, and back okay. and forward. So what I want to do is super narrow the focus that hitting that T is going to be just much more reactive than it is. And again, I mean, just skim the side of it, but it would have gone in the hole, right? Maybe not. <laughs> but but, but the thing of this, if yeah. the hole is this big, would have it have gone in the hole? Okay. Yeah, yeah just skim right. the hole. So I what I yeah. want to do is totally narrow the focus oh, yeah, yeah. to a point where it couldn't be, okay, if I keep my shoulders and I do this, this, and this right, it's like, this is just sportsmanship. This is like talent. Oh, not sportsmanship, just athletic ability. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like, right. because it's such a small target, right. you're going to just start to focus much more in on this mm -hmm. than all of this. Does yeah. that make sense? So okay, let's just yeah. go ahead. We'll stay on this one. And we're just going to hit this one like three times in a row. Okay. So I'll just keep passing it back to you. So just focus in and just go ahead and hit it. Very nice. Same again. Very nice. Same again. Very, but, but it would have gone in, right? Yeah, maybe, yeah. Well, yeah, but, but, but look. But anyway, yeah, ain't small, loop, miss small. Miss small, right? yeah, exactly, yeah. Right? right? So so even if we just miss it, that's great. So let's do it again. Yeah, that's a... So just let's see, hit the T. Very nice. Very nice. Yes, but, 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 but here's the beauty, okay? Have you seen, um, you've seen Lucas Glover, right? And yep. what he went through? You, you saw his yips? Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so now he just won twice last year. Right. So again, when you start to see Lucas and also Will Zalatoris, mm -hmm. I mean, Will Zalatoris will literally take the putter back like that and have a square putter at, at impact. Right. And what a lot of us think is like, so well, my goodness, if I, it, 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 hey, if I, if yeah. I can hit that tee, the face is square to the target. Right. It, so again, Will Zalatoris doesn't, he doesn't like that on the backswing. It doesn't right. matter. Right. What, what we do a lot of times with the yips is like, oh, we, we take it back and we think, oh, eh. right. but you'll see Will make a ton of putts. And on the right. way back, you're like, oh my. And then he makes it and you're like, oh, nice birdie, you know? So I want you to so not worry on. if you see a jitter, if you see it in or out. Okay. I just want... 100% focus. focus on this right here, okay. which would have athletic ability, would be, well, then your body's gonna make the changes, not you, do you know what I'm saying? Beautiful. So I would start your drill off with, I'm gonna pick, put two tees out from literally three feet, and I'm just gonna focus 100% on hitting that tee, just reacting to it, and just seeing that back and forward and narrowing the focus. So thoughts, feedback on what we're saying here. Yeah, it doesn't matter how it goes. Yeah, okay. In fact, do the most do the most in back swing that you can possibly do. I want you to take the club and almost hit your toe. Okay. Okay. Yep. Good. And now go ahead and hit it. Beautiful. Yeah, it off the toe there. yeah but but my point is, this one I want it to be the most out back swing you can possibly okay. have, okay. and allow the allow yourself to hit this. Okay, good. Now go ahead and do the most in. You see, a part of the yips is we're so afraid of doing something wrong. Yeah. Um, Whereas, that's that everything's negative. It's like don't yep. Yeah, yeah. To don't do this. Pipe. Don't do this. Right. But if if we can prove to you, so let's just move this one here to two feet, right? If we can prove to you, go ahead and on this one again. I want you to take this putter in so so far to the inside that it almost hits your toe, and go ahead and just hit the tee. 
Do, do you see what I'm saying? Right, it's like, right. so the logic of, I know, straight back and straight through and a, a curve on the inside. It's like, well, that's fantastic, but just take one away inside. Good. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Okay, now take one back with a stutter step. I want you to take it back and go, well, do, do, do. yes, yeah, so okay. one, two, three, and then hit it, okay? okay. So, duh, duh, duh. yep, and now hit it. Nope. Yep, but, but, but understand, look at this, watch. If that T was in that hole right there and you missed it, it would still make the putt. Right. Do you get what I'm saying? Right. So again, let's do stutter step again. So, so like, duh, 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 and then hit. Beautiful. Now on this next one, let's go ahead and go super out to the right, okay. right? So almost out to my putter right there okay. and then go ahead and hit that. Good. Yeah, but it would have gone in the hole though, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Right? You see what right. I'm starting to say is yeah, yeah. that the yips is so often if like, I'm doing it wrong, don't screw it up. The more that you can show, go into it and be like, right. oh, sod it. I'll, yeah, I'm going right. to do this, this, this. Oh, I'll yeah. do this, this, this. And once, you start, the, once I start making a few putts, the, the, you have to tend to go away. Go away. Good, yeah. Right? So I would like you to actually start learning how to practice and going around this circle. Mm -hmm. Like, like you could go back if you want. Let's just go back and let's pause for three seconds. Then go get ready to hit the, yeah, we're going to go from oh, here. We're going to hit this one. Okay. Pause, pause for, for three seconds. Right? Okay. Like you've got the worst static putt ever, right? Okay. So take it back and pause. And oh my goodness, when's he ever going to hit the putt? And now he's going to hit the putt. And he made the putt. And so so what I want you to challenge yourself to do is most people who slice the ball don't want it to slice. I'm like, let me teach you how to slice. Right. Let's slice the shit out of this ball, right? right? Get you slicing it like this. And you go, oh, well, if I didn't do that, it wouldn't be a slice. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. so what I want to get you into is this idea of like going by between these T's and being like, I can, I can do whatever I want. So choose, choose what you want to do on this one. Drag it to the inside, stutter it, whatever. Hit the T. Okay. Beautiful. You see how the ball's rolling perfectly end right. over end as it comes off, right? Right. The point behind the yips, have you, you've heard of NLP before? Neuro Linguistic Programming? Mm -hmm. So after, uh, thanks Jared, after uh, Vietnam, which I wasn't around for, but um, uh, Bandler and Grinder basically created thinking called NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming, which was the concept that PTSD was, bang, you hear a loud noise, and a guy will, who's been in the military will drop to the ground and truly, absolutely think that something, he's, right. he's, he's yeah, back he's, in Vietnam, right? Right, right? So what what that was based upon was an anchor that when they heard the bang, it triggered something, right. okay? So what yips becomes is the pudder becomes the anchor. So you've been in, right? You're driving the car and the song will come on and you're like, oh my God, I remember back with my <laughs> girlfriend when I was 17. And it's like, right. it's literally right back. That's an anchor, right? right. So for you, the anchors become the putter. You grab the putter and it's like, whoa, my right hand just got tense. Yeah, yeah. My stomach's my twisted sense. a little right. bit, right? This. Right. So this anchor, every time you're grabbing it, it's like a little bit of pain. Right. So what we've got to start to do now is if we were to come over here and change it where we're like, hey, watch this. I'm going to stand like this and do this and make putts. I'm going to do this right. and make putts. What you're doing is you're sort of scratching the record. So mm -hmm. if you took a an old LP, right, and you just scratched it like this and then put it in, mm -hmm. we'll never play again. It'll never play the same way. Right. But we've got a loop going with the yips that's so consistent that we're like, oh my God, what's ever going to finish? Right. Ah, scratch the record. So our goal now is, hey, I come out and I literally intentionally do this and I intentionally do this and I hit the T's and I hit the T's back right. and forward. And, yeah. and, then, and then I go ahead and I, get a, and I go around five. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to get to six, guys, to seven. Okay. And now you're looking forward to the tension because you, you want the yip to, in theory, try and show up, but you're going to go and be like, okay, I'm going to go ahead and do this, I'm going to do this. And after a time, you can do whatever you want, straight right. back, straight through, right. you, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. th thoughts, feedback on what we're saying here. Does it, does it make sense? Does it resonate? Yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. And, and honestly, even if I don't yip, I'm not the world's best putter, that's for sure. I probably don't practice enough, but... Um... But this is something you could do at home, right? On a piece of carpet right. in between two pennies, right? Did you feel how with this, you haven't thought about your shoulders or anything any right, of the time, that's right? True. That's so the true. thing I is, is that right. when we start focusing on this, right, yeah. it's the trash can. Right. Throw in the trash can. Hey, Alan, you do it again, I'll give you 20 bucks. Yeah. 
<laughs> it's like <laughs> yeah. you've shifted That's into it. a different part of your brain. Right. So now you're shifting into trying to feel distance. Right. So I get the body movements, but the more that you can go like, well, just there, just do it, the oh, better. For sure. do, do you get what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. And that comes from allowing yourself to basically go where you don't want to go, which is I'm going to make really strange moves to the inside, to the outside, right. and it's yeah. going to allow you to go ahead and there you go. Beautiful. And again, now watch this as we go in, right? So we're going to start going around this circle, okay? And I'm going to move the T to help you here, right? I'm going to use that blue T so it's a little bit more clear, okay? So go ahead and do this. There isn't a hole there. All I want you to do is do the yip to the inside, but hit the T, okay? So do the yip to the inside to the T. There we go. Very nice. Next one. Okay, so again, look at this T right here. You could, yeah, let's go inside again. Yep. Very nice. Okay, do it one more time. Just a little bit of break, I think. We've, so, so probably what I need to do here is move the T and need you to try and hit this T right here, okay? Very nice. Okay, next one. This one should be straight. Reasonably straight. Okay, this one, let's do the pause. Actually, let's do the stagger step the okay. d d d d on the way back. Very nice. Let's go to this one. So this should move that way just a little bit. So I'm going to put the T slightly okay. left, right of center for you. Let's go to the inside again on this one. Okay, let's do it one more time. Inside with three stagger steps. Very nice. So it's just, it is actually almost dead straight, this part. Let's do it one more time. So hit this T for me. Forget this, right? There's a T right here. Okay. Go ahead and hit that T. Very nice. But you see how well the ball's rolling off the yeah, face yeah, right yeah, now? Yeah. Just beautiful, you know what right. I mean? So last one. So sitting up to this. Again, let's do a little stagger step to the inside. Beautiful. So give me your thoughts and feedback on what we kind of covered here. Yeah, you're right. I mean, one thing for sure, the game is a lot easier when you're not thinking about, you know, certain movements. Yeah. And when, when I have the yips, definitely I start, you know, I start thinking about, okay, keep that right elbow in, you know, make sure the yep. shoulders are turning. Yeah. Anything that'll keep this hand from having to, you yep. know, yep. take action. But focusing on, you know, just focusing The smaller on, target and then actually go into it and just intentionally feel like you were going to do something that would be right. considered a yip, you know what I mean? Because what you're actually doing is allowing yourself to have control over it rather than being controlled by it. Right. And what I'm, what I'm focusing on is just, can I hit, can I hit right here? Yeah. And what I want to focus on now is, can I hit that right there? That's all I want to focus on. The outcome is, can I hit this little hole right behind? This is what I want to hit. Yeah, 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 that T or the hole behind, whichever. So can I just hit that T? However I want to do it, can I hit that T? And the more you practice to these small targets, I'm promising you see, and again, at home, put it on a carpet and have a penny here and a penny there, you know? But you start to see there's no thinking, there's no tension right. going on, right? right? So I would I would challenge you, Alan, to basically, when you can get out to the golf course, put the tees down, start with them right here, and then don't try and be perfect. Don't try and have a beautiful back and through. Mm -hmm. Hit the tee yeah, and then start right. having fun. Right. Now, now from that distance, that's almost that is very difficult to do. So I would always within three feet. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. it's I mean, it's my new, right? It's yeah. it's my new. And then I would do the to the inside, to the outside, stagger step, stop like this, and just start running through that. And then my goal is, as you go around the five, can you get to six? Can you get to seven? Can you get to eight? Around the tees. And my goal is, can you get to a point where you do yip it? D don't, don't like, I hope the yips don't come. I hope the, no, I want it to come. I want yeah. to be under so much pressure right. that my body tenses up again, right. but that might become 11 right. or 14. And then you get on the golf course and go, a three footer just make the yeah. damn putt you know what i'm saying right. so you're, you're you're changing your practice style to a go into what you fear but then b put yourself into a pressure where you're like you're almost looking for the yip to right. come out you know what i'm saying yeah. because like i've never made 14 in a row you know beautiful and then, yeah i mean and you could literally just go around like this you could yeah. just do this instead right I mean, you understand how hard that is to do, right? Do, do you, I'm just being yeah. honest with you. Yeah, yeah, well, no, no, no. I mean, yeah. as in physically, the physics behind this is 
you've got a gap of about, so this is three feet, right? So this is four feet. So this is longer than I'd want you to do. Okay. And you're hitting a tee that is, you know, yeah. one fifteenth the size of the golf ball. Do you know what right. I'm saying? So yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. is so, yeah. the yips disappear? Because again, I mean, the yips, I mean, you've seen, you know, Lucas, you know, from here, you know what I mean? Right. And it's like this. So what you're starting to see is your body's starting to break what I call the anchor, right? So that old anchor. And right. it's amazing when I asked you, do you remember when it happened? Oh, you yeah. can remember the day, the time, the thing. The whole. <laughs> how, was your, the uh, how was your 50th birthday? Uh, had to think about oh it, didn't God. you? But we you had, had to think party. about it. <laughs> but you had to think about it, <laughs> right, right? Right. When was the day you got yips? Oh, I can uh, tell you. Like, like, yeah. Do you see what I'm saying? So it's empowered, just like for us, right? If we think of September 11th, right? We can just see the towers. We can mm -hmm. see what happened. The picture is massive. It's in color. It's, it, it'll, it, it'll never go away and it should never go away. Right. But if that's the yips for you, mm -hmm. we've got to make that be like, yeah, I don't. It's more black and white. It's more behind me. It's more back right. here. Because right. then we can't recall it, which means there's no emotion to it. Right. So when you recall something like 9-11, it's like, wow, that's where it was. Mm -hmm. The, with PTSD, the more you can shrink that down, mm -hmm. turn it into black and white and put it behind you, because the way we store memories is the bigger the memory and the more important it is, the more in front of it is and the right. more color it is and the bigger it is. Right. So the more that you can go back and sort of, every time you hit make some putts, just erase the memory, just put a razor over a little bit. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I remember, I remember back then when I, I used to have the yips, I used to have the yips. Right. Next thing you know is you can't recall that, which means you can't recall the tension. You right. can't recall it into your hands. Right. And, you yeah. know, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, so, and, and sometimes the yips aren't there, and I guess that's just a, a function of, you know, they've they've gone to the back. Yeah, they've gone to the back. And when you miss one, what do, what do we do? Yeah. You see, I suck. I'm terrible. There's no way I can make five. So we we now put it on an <laughs> IMAX screen and project it instead of right. going. Best players in the world, Miss Right. Remember when uh, Ratif well, Goosen three putted right. from three feet? To, when he threw, remember yeah, to yeah. win the Open, right. and he missed from here, and he missed, and then had to go Mark Brooks in a playoff, and he went. Well, what do you think, Ratif? He's like, well, I'll just beat him tomorrow. I'm like, you just missed two, three foot putts <laughs> to win the US Open, yeah, know. you know? Right. But he didn't yeah. maximize it, he minimized right. it. Right. What we tend to do with the yips is we maximize them and then yeah, wonder why, right. why it craps all over our party. It's like, well, right. you've turned it into something massive instead of, it's a right. three foot putt, get over right. it. You don't make them all. Yeah, well, with me, when I miss a putt, if it's not because of the yips, it's a victory. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so you know, now could we turn it into now could we could we start to turn it into every time we make one, every time we hit a good roll, it's like, and and every one of these is a good part. You know, I'm hitting it, I'm rolling it well. Right. And what you'll find is you'll start to reverse that pattern, and you'll start to find like I'm just not that nervous anymore. And if you miss one, you're like, oh, okay, yeah, it's it's a three foot putt. It has break on it. Right. You're gonna miss them. Do you know right. what I'm saying? But I promise you, like I'm not saying it's just gonna disappear, right? right. But if you run this routine and you allow that big picture to keep shrinking down, well, I, hit it. I made another three footer. I made an, this right. is making a three footer, even if it's right. not on the golf course, enough, but right. I made another three. I got six out of 10, I got seven out of 10, I got eight in a row, nine in a row, right. 10 in a row. Right. The picture starts to decrease and your belief is, I don't have the yips, occasionally I'll miss some short putts. That's right. different than I've got the yips. Right. And then it's, you know, I'm actually well, a pretty, no, I, I'm, a, I'm a pretty, some people yeah, don't understand yeah. It. and then it's, it's like, you know, I'm a pretty right. distant short putter. Mm -hmm. Then it's, I'm a good short putter. Right. Did you start to believe that? Right. Now that whole thing is like, that picture's replaced with, I'm a great short putter and it's out in front of you. Right. So you've taken this, mm -hmm. put it behind you and taken this little one and gone, Whoop, oh look, I'm a good putter, you know? Yeah, my man. Will. It's a pleasure. It. This is great. Really All good. Right. Please do yes, so find me a text. I'm gonna I leave will. these tees here for I, you. And if I, if I do get past, you know, if I do get over the yips, then we'll do a real putting lesson. No, hey, <laughs> you won't need. You won't need. You won't need one. You, you, you won't need one. Just keep running through these drills. Pick the tees up and put them in your pocket and take them with you and uh, and apply it.